Hi everyone, welcome to my very first God vlog. My name is Tori and I don't normally make videos like this. This is the very first of its type. Um, I'm being drawn to talk about my faith. It's been on my mind for quite a while and I just, I feel like I can um, maybe be a help to anyone that's on the journey of finding their own truth. I, of course, haven't gotten to an end point. I never will, but I can share what I have experienced thus far. This has been on my mind for quite some time, and um, I feel like I'm finally ready to share about my faith on this platform. So, thanks for tuning in. I have a timer set because I can get pretty rambly, and uh, you could talk about this infinitely, I'm sure. So, I have a 10-minute timer. I'd like to do a few videos on the topic, whatever comes up, and um, I'll just try to keep them nice and short for you. So, I do identify as Christian now, but although I grew up in a Lutheran church, I haven't always believed what I had learned, and it's taken me this many years to find my own truth, and that's what I want to help any of you do. And it's, it's taken me a while to get to this point to even... Um, share anything and I, I kind of have trouble trouble making formal videos now because I'm really really scared about not being an expert about what I'm talking about but the cool thing about this is no one's really an expert on God so I'm just telling you my truth in hopes that um, it might help you find yours and my baby boy's to my left here so I might be turning to look at him and trying to occupy him at the same time but um, yeah, let's just skip. I think for today, I'll just talk about my background a little bit and how I got to where I am now because for a while, especially during my college years, any time I saw people on, you know, social media um, with the byline Christian or child of God or, you know, worshiper, I was completely turned off by that and we can kind of get into that. But anyway, I'll take, I'll take you back. So, I live in America. I um, grew up in the Midwest, so my family, my, my mom's side of the family is Scandinavian heritage, so we're Lutheran. Yes, baby boy. And um, I basically, I went to church a lot when I was younger. Um, grew up in a Lutheran church. My grandparents are a huge part of my life. My mother was a single mother, um, and... Yeah, so I spent a lot of time with my grandparents, and my grandparents were big at the church. So um, I grew up, I remember Sunday school, my mom taught Sunday school. I remember really enjoying those years. I made really great elementary friends from, from the church. And yeah, you know, it's just kind of normal to do that sort of thing. I grew up, I would say, being a lukewarm Christian, where, you know, you go to church on Sundays, but you don't really live your faith, or you don't really talk about it. And I went through the motions, I had my first communion, I got confirmed, but like being confirmed, definitely by that point, I wasn't really interested or don't know if I really believed what I said I was believing and confessing. Like, um, I remember confirmation parties were like so exciting because you just, everyone came and you got money and cards. Like that, that's what it was. And it's bad to say that for sure, but that's what you feel as like a teenager and that's what I felt I really wasn't connected to my faith and so you know you go you grow up you get to high school you get to college and if you're not rooted in your faith you're not gonna go so um, I kind of wandered from that a little bit and just started living life the way I wanted to which we can talk about later you know now I'm I'm realizing that I'm not living for myself and that God has his own plan for me and you know, when you kind of do things your way, you lose sight and whatever. But um, definitely during college, I started wondering about faith again. I remember specifically going to my friend, my friend Lexi's house for the first time. And I didn't know her that well, but it was when like the era of Instagram was starting to get big. And I would read these, you know, like I'm saying, I would read people's bios and they would talk about being Christian and they looked so happy. And I, I asked her, I was like, do you think that Christians are happy people or, okay, I, I, I asked the question, do you think these people are happy because they're Christian or they're putting on a front to be happy because it's like part of their faith. Am I saying that right? 
I didn't know if these people were genuinely, like, if Christians were genuinely good people, good, happy people, or if they were, like, putting on this weird fake front that, like, everything was so good. And what I feel like now that I'm more comfortable in my faith and have some direction with that, I, I genuinely feel like God does give you joy in your heart, like, knowing you're taken care of, knowing there's a plan, not being anxious, which is something um, that's been really helpful for me as an anxious person has been um putting my faith in the lord so i think now i know the answer but i just remember being totally turned off by that like if someone had that in their bio i sometimes wouldn't even follow them or i would unfollow them and i'm sure that's what might happen as i'm starting to share my own story i will probably lose some followers but i think um you know that's kind of the point of christianity once you know, just sharing the word of the Lord. You want others to know this joy, to know this happiness, um, and to know their father. Father. So maybe this one, this blog should be a little bit longer than what I was intending because I don't. I am calling this first series, this first video, Christian-ish, because I don't feel that I am a traditional Christian. I am very open to the modern world. And like I said, no one's an expert and we're only humans. And my thought on it is that, which also kind of turned me off. I remember asking in like middle school, my my teacher, how do you know God's a, like a, a guy? Like, how do you know it's a he? And he said, you don't, which struck me because I'm, I'm a feminist and I want everyone to be equal. And it's kind of like, why are we calling, why are we worshiping a, a man? But I, I, I just think that, like, a father figure is what we can best understand as someone who loves us to no end. And that just as humans, like, that's the context we have to give it to understand it. There's no way we can fully understand the Lord. And there's no way, like, we could even grasp some of the concepts of, like, what, how, who he is. So, like, that's how we have to conceptualize it is by giving it that human or male form. Like, you can call God she if you want, but obviously the texts and traditionally that's that's how you imagine it. But I just, that's what I kind of think about it. And what really, um, what I always come back to when I get really confused about the Bible, which was written by man, when we, when we get really confused about things, what I always come back to and what my religion truly is is that god is love like that verse for me is everything like god not god, not god has love not god loves but like he is love like love is what god is like if you just interchange it like you know you know what i'm saying so anytime i get confused about gays or women or slaughtering your first child like I don't even know I haven't read through the Bible front to back I I proclaim myself a Christian because I do believe in Jesus Christ but but I don't know everything about the faith and I just think that anytime I'm confused by it I come back to God as love and what how can I love more in which certain situations can I provide love and that's like the answer to things anyway so, how did I get to where I am because from being like completely turned off by the faith? Basically, I started going to church again, which wasn't a jump, you know. I started going to church again in college because, again, my grandfather was very involved. And it was just kind of something to do, something to connect with him by. Like, it's just something we did on Sundays. I wanted to see my grandparents, and my grandpa always went to church, and it was something nice I could do with him. So I started going back to church, but that wasn't the point. Um, I here's here's the crazy part. Okay, so Nate and I went to Interstellar. That that is my turning point. That is where God. I heard God's voice. It's crazy. I know, and it sounds wacky to say it out loud. During the movie Interstellar, I swear I heard God saying to me like, after like 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 inviting me to believe in Him, and. So I did. I thought, I thought, like, I I heard his voice saying, after this movie, if you, like, think of me again, if you, if you think of this moment again, after this movie, 
like follow me know me and from that point I did I was like I'm going to get to know God I feel like I'm ready I was just like ready at that point and I know right so from there I dabbled in reading the Bible I tried to explore my faith more and that's all it was I wasn't committed to being Lutheran a Christian or anything in fact I had really gone the route of I want to be spiritual I believe in something but I don't know what which a lot of people I think are at and so I, I just didn't put the pressure on myself. I was like, I'll read the Bible. I'll try to know about it, but I'm not committing to anything. I just want to educate myself. So it started there. Um, and then it was just like a few, not miracles, but a few times the stars aligned or God was working in my life where I kind of had to stop and think like, okay, so he something must be out there that's guiding me. So... The big one I can think of is getting adopting our dog Twiggy. Um, it, uh, like I just said, it, it was an adoption agency. Okay, my 10 minutes are up. This one's going to be a little bit longer, but I promise I'll try to stick to like 10 and less for the next topics. But um, so with Twiggy, you when you adopt a dog, you usually, at least at this agency, you have to put your name in, say the dog you want. They don't always, you know, they come to your house. We were living in an apartment at the time. We hadn't planned on getting a dog for quite some time, but it was really random. We, we, Nate and I went on a walk. We saw a poster for these cute little chocolate labs, and I would never wanted a big dog before. And I looked at Nate and I said, if we could get one of these dogs, I would allow it. Like, if we can get one of these labs, they're really cute. I'll, sure, we'll do it. And I think it was later that day, I was visiting my grandpa at the nursing home, and the foster woman, the woman who was fostering Twiggy, um, was there with these dogs, like, totally random. And I went up to her. I was like, is this those dogs from the poster? And she said, no, this is a different litter. These are... Their sisters and um, so that's crazy so I like took some pictures of them and I went home and I told Nate about it and from there we were like really gung-ho about the whole thing so we put in the adoption paperwork and we were really excited and it ended up that we were able to get Twiggy but there was an issue because we lived in an apartment and we weren't allowed to have dogs so um, from there I had really horrible anxiety at the time so um, I never had like a note for a dog, but I went, I set off to get a note for this dog so we could keep her so, as she could be my companion animal. And so I ended up going to this therapist who did write me the note, but just to help with the anxiety, she was obviously giving me some ideas besides just owning a dog. And she introduced me, she wanted, she suggested doing yoga and she um, introduced some breathing techniques and she brought up um, the psalm, be still and know. She didn't finish the verse be still and know that I'm God but she said when I am really stressed out I breathe and I on the inhale I say be still and I exhale and I sell and I say and no so I started doing that be still and no so that's like one of my favorite verses because it's just like my introduction kind of back into the faith and when I hear that now, I, I definitely finish the phrase, be still and know that I am God. Like, that speaks to my anxiety so much. We can talk about that later. But, um, yeah, like, really crazy, right? So the stars kind of aligned. We were able to get Twig, and that's that. And from there, it just kept growing. Like, I was invited to a Bible study by my friend Brittany, I think the first year of pharmacy school, and I kind of just blew that off. Like, it's not really my thing. By third and fourth year of pharmacy school, I was going to her Bible study. I was actively involved. I wanted to know more. I wanted to learn more. I wanted to be around people that believed. So it's just kind of evolved from there. I never imagined, you know, like in college, I never imagined myself even mentioning God at like my wedding. And I had definitely had verses picked up by then. And I saw it as a holy sacrament, like it's just very cool the way it's evolved and it doesn't feel, it feels good because I've gone about it my own way and I found what I believe. And it's almost, when you, I was really gung-ho about the whole thing. I'm really excited about being a Christ, being, um, uh, not a Christian, but 
Um, I was really excited about my faith up until the point where I had to decide, where I made the decision to follow Jesus, to believe in Jesus Christ or not. And I almost, at that point, I had to, I had to kind of fake it before I made it. It was like, what am I, which, which, what am I going to identify as? I'm at this point now in my life where I have not it doesn't all make sense to me the Bible doesn't all make sense faith doesn't all make sense and so again what I come back to is God is love and um, I kind of go from there and it's just grown and it's all coming together pieces of the Bible are making more sense um, daily life is making more sense this is little man just things are starting to click more where it's like that was God this is God working in my life He'll take care of me, and I don't need to be afraid anymore. So um, I don't really know. That, that was kind of abrupt. I don't really know where to go from here or what to say. If you have specific questions on my philosophy to faith, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just pop on when I'm feeling really inspired to share something. But I just wanted to kind of share my story for any of you that are um, looking for that piece that's missing in your life but aren't really sure perhaps you're really turned off by christianity and how um people <sighs> um label themselves but then go against it with their actions or you know, you know that's kind of happening in america's political agenda now um I don't know. I just wanted to kind of be a sounding board. I just wanted to share this. I don't know where this is going to go. It's kind of weird. I feel weird about even like closing this video and trying to upload it. But um, did any of that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I hope that you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching. If you didn't like it, please just don't leave hate. Just please click off. I'm kind of uh, don't know where to go from here. But thanks so much. I'll see you again. Bye.